In this illustration, we intend to simulate the arc welding using Deflux subroutine in the Abacus software. The welding torch moves in a straight line in Z direction. The welding speed is equal to 10 mm per second. And finally, click on OK. I'll then click on Create Section, select Solid Homogeneous, Continue and OK. I'll click on Assign Section, select the plate, Done, and OK. In the next step, I'll enter Step Module. This question will be accomplished in two steps. The step one is used to simulate the process of welding, and the step two is for simulation of cooling process. So I'll click on Create Step. From here, select Coupled Temp Displacement. Continue. Here, the time period is equal to 20 seconds. Actually, the time during which the welding is to be done is equal to 20 seconds. The analysis will be in nonlinear. The Abacus software uses the Stefan Boltzmann law for calculating radiation heat transfer. So I select Edit Attribute from the Model menu, select the Model 1, enter the absolute zero temperature equal to negative 273.15 centigrade, enter the Stefan Boltzmann constant equal to 5.5. 669 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 8 and OK. Select Thermal in the Category section, then select Body Heat Flux and continue. I will select this section, Done. Select User Define in the Distribution section. I'll enter magnitude equal to 1. In this manner, we should use deflux subroutine to define the body heat flux. The deflux subroutine must be attached to the abacus file. I click on OK. I will uh, select deflux subroutine. Copy and paste that in the Visual Studio software in this manner. We should use the body heat flux for simulating of the welding process and we will use the Goldax double ellipsoid model for defining the body heat flux. Also, uh, we will use deflux subroutine in order to define the Goldax double ellipsoid model. Continue. Here I will click on user subroutine file. Here you can observe the equivalent plastic strain contour. Here you can observe the weld line.
I will select step frame from the result menu and here I will select the last frame and OK. Here you can observe the residual plastic strain contour. Actually, the move of the welding torch is in form of a straight line, which can be observed here. I will click on Create XY Data. From here, ODB Field Output and Continue. I'll select Unique Nodal from here, then Nodal Temperature. Here, I'll select this node and click on Plot. Here, you can see the changes of temperature for this node. I will select Path and Create from the Tools menu, Continue, select Add Before, then select this node. Then this node, Done. And OK. I will click on Create XY Data. From here, Path, Continue. From here, I'll tick on Include Intersections option. Here, I will select the stress in the Z direction. And OK. And then click on Plot. Here, you can see the residual stress. Actually, this diagram shows the residual stress having been left in the welding line direction. In the other words, this diagram shows uh, the longitudinal residual stresses. And here you can observe the residual stress in form of colored contours. Path continue, select path 2 from here, select the final frame, and here select stress in the Z direction, OK, and plot. Here you can observe the stress is in the direction that is perpendicular to the weld line, or transversal residual stresses.